That's right. I got all of this for two thirteen. I mean, that's a deal. I'm not really. Back in my day, you could get them for a dollar. My day, that was like three years ago. I guess you could find them for like a dollar at the dollar store like three years ago, and now you find them. Anyways, I'm I'm off topic. This is my backlog. Basically, I've been collecting for the last, I should say maybe 15 years. Been playing with LEGO for the last 25 years of my life. And a lot of these sets I bought with the intention of buying, excuse me, of, of building. But as is life, a lot of other things come into play. And in this case, mostly work and school and finishing a career and establishing my own office and just a lot of growing up stuff that is boring I won't get into. So I've had a lot of sets I just put onto the, literally to the side. I wanted to go ahead and show this off because in between starting the channel and everything like that, I moved houses and I ended up deciding that I was going to show these off one day, but I had to put them aside because they were taking up too much room. Now I had some free time right now because the world shut down and, and stuff that's going on. I think, I don't know, something about a president. I don't, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. The whole thing is I wanted to go ahead and show this off before I, I actually went ahead and arranged it. And also give a channel update, which is the next part of this video. I've been missing uh, from YouTube for the last, wait, let me take this, there we go. This needs to be drunk, drank, needs to drank that. Anyways, I've been missing from the channel for the same reasons, just work and, 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 and it just, you know, just life. And I wanted to go ahead and get back in it because I really enjoyed it. I enjoy just sharing my city and talking to other people that enjoy Legos. It's just, you know, the ability to talk on the internet now for someone as, uh, in, in, well, I guess I was part of the internet age. I just feel older than that. Uh, it's really awesome to be able to share hobbies with other people. So I decided, you know what, I am going to get back on it. It's a new year, new me. I'm going to lose 80 pounds. going to make my cat lose 80 pounds. I'm going to build Legos. I'm going to probably spiral into depression when I am not able to build all these Legos. Spiral into more depression because Super Mario broke my heart. And just get on it. Alright guys, so this is basically where I'm at with the city. And this is where I'm going to go. I am... Oh, there's Benny. And there's some cat plates from Japan. And there's a cat shaming calendar, which I... Never mind, I'm not going to get into that. Anyways, um... I, like I said, I was trying to take a break for personal reasons and a lot of stuff going on uh, from the channel, but I do want to get back into it and hopefully be consistent with the updates and uh, wanted to give you guys an idea of what I'm going to be working on, which is basically the city. I will be putting the, what's called assembly square right here in the middle, and then I'm probably going to go either with maybe the police uh, station there. Then maybe, I don't know, I might put in a corner building, like the corner garage there. I haven't built the police station yet, the corner garage is finished, I just gotta put it somewhere. I'm gonna have a couple of modules left over, but basically that's gonna be all the modules in this area. I like where the town hall is here, I'm gonna add in trees, the center area, I'm actually working on a fountain right now. Uh, this one actually, that's gonna go there. In the back, that's just some buildings I put in for perspective. I'm gonna end up putting a post office there, a taxi cab stand, and then probably a pizza shop. Cause I feel like that would be in the center of town for easy access. I like this area. This is gonna be like an upscale kind of like condo area, uh, not condos, a townhouse area. And towards the back, I believe I'm gonna put in like a bicycle uh, parking lot kind of thing here. That's gonna be gated in, but it's gonna be public access for the rest of the townspeople. But these people just live closer. I have to add in townspeople, but a little bit more uh, facade uh, to them. And then let's keep moving. This area is going to have a bunch of shops here, which you can see I'm already lining up. This area is going to be a, um, basically, I'm thinking of doing a basketball court with some like skate ramps and stuff I got there. I'm still working on this. That's just going to be, I think, like a promenade with a lot of shops. I've said this in other videos before. This is going to be the suburban area with the. And I need them more lighting, which is why I have these. Ted and more lighting once I'm actually more you know, 
finished. So farm area, still gotta put in details to that. And this is what I've been working on. Uh, I was working on for a while, then my cat actually knocked it over. And I rebuilt it. And this is gonna be the mountain scape, but it's gonna be a mountain on top. I gonna put in something cool, which I, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do. But uh, they, it's, it's mostly done. I still got in maybe two more levels. That's Benny, the one responsible for knocking over the mountain. And I'm gonna put in some tents and stuff like that here, some camping gear, make a river. Uh, the river's already uh, there. I gotta just send in more detail. This is the tunnel, and I'm gonna put in cave exploration there. And then it leads over here to the amusement park, which is more or less done. It's more or less situated where I wanted to go. But gotta add in people and stuff like that. But I needed something to do with these uh, cross plates, these intersection plates. And this is pretty much the only place I can put them in. Uh, so that's why they're there. Uh, I, I, I basically like where it's at. So I'm probably not gonna switch a lot. Maybe just add in a couple of stands and stuff like that for the townspeople to like visit for food and beverages, etc., etc. But that's more or less situated the way I want it to be situated. Now this train station was some, a set that came out while ago. I don't remember how long ago, but probably close to 10 years now. I'm actually gonna extend that put in one part of the train station here and then extend the other train station all the way over here so that people have access to the train station from uh, the, the amusement park all the way back to where this train station would be. Then I'm gonna do a power plant here, which is why I have the Vesta windmill. And here's gonna be the beach. And then I don't wanna reveal what I'm gonna end up doing at the end of that, but there's a surprise there that I'm gonna keep for you guys. Now here's gonna be the, the really urban skyscraper kind of area. I'm gonna end up putting a lot of the stuff that I, I'm foreseeing something like out of Tokyo, because if you guys didn't know from my earlier uh, mention of, of Japan and cats and cat plates, uh, I am a big uh, Japan fanatic. I've been a couple of times and I love the architecture there. That's actually one of the things I love most about Japan outside of buying cat plates for a dollar. They, they seriously cost a dollar. But one of the big things I love about Japan is just the architecture and the way that buildings are just pivoted into any any corner. And I kind of want to do an area like that, a quote unquote Asia town. There's so many towns, uh, so many sets have come out that also capture the Asia town kind of experience, like the gardens and things like that. So it's going to make it easier. But that's basically what we're going to be seeing here. I uh, got in a hospital, which I'm working on. And that's about it for now. Hope I'm a little bit more consistent with updates. I hope I get, um, break that 20 viewer mark. And I hope that this guy stops throwing my Legos down and vomiting on the ground because I, I gotta clean that up. That's why I have a vacuum over there. Alright, guys, take care. See you later. And forever, for anyone that's watching, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.